The 1994 season ended at Super Bowl 29. NFL Total Access is your pass to go behind the scenes during the year to see what really happened. It all went by so fast. From training camp to the Super Bowl trophy presentation, Total Access shows what happens at the stadiums before the games. Let you hear what coaches and players say on the field. Takes you on the road with the teams and with a coach on his day off. Total Access 95, the season you never saw. Training camp is the first time a player's off-season dedication is measured. <laughs> Physicals are followed by fittings. Relax your lips. I know. Relax your mouth. Relax your mouth. There you go. There you go. Eventually, everyone gathers for a team meeting and the real work begins. Uh, everybody has a will to win, don't they, on Sunday when the band's playing, the crowd's there. But who has a will to prepare to win? These three weeks are going to be mainly mental. We're going to have to learn the offense, learn the defense, learn the special teams, and that's what we're going to work on. He's going to have to pay the price to win. At the end of the year, everybody wants to be in the playoffs. But what the hell did you do at the beginning of the year to get yourself there? And we talk a lot about the three D's, desire, dedication, and determination. And desire is really kind of the passion that you've got to have for the game of football. We have to want to be true champions. Dedication is the price that you're going to have to pay to get what you want. Part of our dedication right now is knowing that we are in camp earlier than virtually anybody else. And then determination is how many times we'll get knocked back down and be ready to get back up. How many times can we be disappointed and still not lose the fire in our belly? Now, if you're going to win in the National Football League, you've got to be in great condition. We're going to be sure you're there. You're going to have to be mentally prepared, and that's these coaches' job and your job to learn everything about it. Bang, now we know, don't we, 71? Yeah, now we know. After we lose the damn game, now we know who blocked the damn punt. Come on, you're not listening. You're listening, but you're not hearing me. React, react, react. Enthusiasm and a physical toughness is infectious. Safety, is, is that the number one concern? No. Collision is the number one concern. We ain't having enough of them. <laughs> uh, have you drank any water down here? Get up runs. Yeah. It's bad water. Take it, Fred. Fred! How bad is this water? This drinking water. <laughs> you gotta just keep putting it in you because it's coming out of you like... I'm just wondering if it, it doesn't seem like it tastes too damn good, but I'm just water it. all the time. And they just have these trays full of cups of water, just stacks of them. Just, you know, that guys always get a few runs. Just run right through your head. <laughs> just drinking water. I love it. I came to camp in shape, looking sweet, working on the technical things. Rookies got to be full black. Hey, Mike, playmaker, come in. And if you're the playmaker, all you do is sit and watch all pro. All pro, baby. Pro bowler, Mike Irv. Hey, my boy. Got to keep my big boys in there ready to play, though. That's right. We got to stay I mean, physical. We got to stay physical. Exactly. Exactly. Baby, you can Him, all he run is deep ins and deep outs. <laughs> For veterans like Michael Irvin and Troy Aikman, training camp is the last chance to loosen up before a long season. 
and players often use the pool to work the soreness out of their muscles and out of each other. It's no wonder these overgrown boys are locked up at night. What time they check your room last night? Hey, how you doing? About the time I was getting ready to fall asleep. Yeah. You got about 12 keys. Yeah. It comes in the door, I'm like... He couldn't oh, open man. the door, I'm like, oh man, I'm here! <laughs> oh, I'm scared. All right, good night. All right. He's going into every room with a camera. What if somebody's not in there? What if somebody's naked? Well, I can't say... <laughs> All right, now, that's enough of the camera and the mic. All right, because y'all eavesdropping. Y'all been nosy now instead of After reporting practice, news. You thought I didn't add you, didn't you? <laughs> All right, man, get off me! Fight him off, fight him off! Good job, man! Right, hey, oh, hey, oh, be careful tonight. Get back to Austin, whatever. From the first day of camp to the end of the preseason, teams have about eight weeks to prepare for their home opener. Start of something is always fun. It's always something a little bit special, but it can't be any different than every piece of this puzzle as we put it together all during the season. And no matter what happens out there on that field, no matter what kind of a good play they make, they're a good team. They're going to make some plays. Never give in to it. Nobody gives up. Never give up. You ready to go? Kick ass now. Every play. That gunman knocked somebody around. Let's do it. Okay. New Year. Everybody's starting from the top. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. The sights and sounds of a home opener are unique from stadium to stadium. Check out the Bishop's form here. Let's see what he's got. Thanks, Mike. You're very welcome. You have a grand season. Thank you very much. Thank you. Team is more important than anybody else, isn't it? Well, there are exceptions. But one thing is always for certain. Every team hopes that its home opener, whether it comes in week one or week three, will set the tone for the season ahead. Hey, this is it. No more bull, no more preseason, no time for nothing. We gotta take the first step, and together, one play at a time, we got the people to get it done. Grab that first drum and let's go! This can't beat us, and we ain't gonna beat ourselves. That's the name of the game. Come on down here. Hey, we out there lack of days for right now. We need to hustle our ass on the field, get in the damn hole, call the play, come off and bust these in the mouth. There's nothing for this right now. Defense out there playing their ass off early, and we put them in this kind of bad position. Somebody got to step up and make the big play every time. Every time, make the big play. Somebody got to step up. Second and four, pump fakes, shoots it to the end zone, Quinton and got it! A leaping catch in the end zone! Come on, here we go! What, what happened? Like you and him got a bracket on that guy. That's right. That's what I'm saying. So if you ride out, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to ride now also. That, that's what I'm saying. I'm on the outside of you. True. But when you can't.
came up on the outside and whoever's supposed to be coming over in the middle coming inside. No, no, no. Well, that's all we did. Right. We made our mistakes, but now just time to bowl over. All right. Just bowl over. Keep playing ball. And bowl I got to the stick. Every team has some early season kinks to work out. And it's in the privacy of the halftime locker room that players and coaches fine-tune their game plans. Guys, could I have your attention, please? We're going to play quick catch. I need quick, precise routes, and I need a good, firm pocket. I want one thing. I want concentration. Man, you got that second touchdown because of what we talked about this week in great hustle. Good job, man. Derek, that was a damn good job of hustling. Shannon's a good job. You've got to hustle, we got to hustle, we got to hustle. You're whipping their ass in the run games, and I'm going to give it to you. We're going to keep pounding at them. Now, pass game-wise, there's no change other than the two things I talked about. We're going to play quick catch. You understand me? Uh, yeah. Who was that 87 whammy? When he started moving, you're out of the mix, right? And you're the one moving, so you've got to be the replacer on the wham. Okay? So he whams in there, you, you're a linebacker. Plug it up in there. Okay? Make yourself big on that. You, you know, you're a little late on that, and that's what they guess is on that one plug. We will see this play again. We will see this play again. Let's, we, can't, we can't let him do that, and our basic defense will take care of that. In the second half, teams can only hope their adjustments pay off. Tell them if they go no huddle, tell them we'll go tight buck, zone automatic. We know we got to tackle this guy. One guy, we can't depend on one guy to tackle this guy. X-Tight! X-Tight! Hey! Hey! Dime! That won't come up and me. He, he yeah. cannot do that. They can't do that. I want you to run one across the middle, 88. I'm going to shut that mouth up. Genesis Steelers, 37. High formation, Aikman play fake, back to throw, great block from Johnston, throws it right, Irvin at the 20 and got away, down the sideline to the 10, balance lost at the 13-yard uh, line. Every thing they got, we gave it to them. That's Hoyt. The wound is open. He's about to commit surgery. Come on now, here we go! Here we go! Third down and eight. Football at the St. 11, split back for Montana. Two-step drop, fires to the end zone, pass caught with an Evans, touchdown! Marks the ball to the left side of the 10, to the 5, pass it up, dives forward, and scores! Showing the power and the speed! Fourth down and 5, shotgun, Marino, throws deep downfield, it is caught by Fryer, yes! touchdown! Touchdown Dolphins! Marino to Fryer! Second down and goal, and the football is at the 4-yard line. Elway will roll right, wants to throw, steps up to throw, pump fakes, looks, get it! Rice is there, and he's into the end zone! He's done it! Gary Rice, in the 75-year history of the National Football League, is the touchdown scorer of the century. Incredible. Congratulations. No respect. Barry Switzer's first NFL coaching victory spoiled Pittsburgh's home opener. But in the NFL, teams must learn from their early season mistakes or build on their triumphs. How does it feel? It feels great! These are the games that test the team's mettle and strengthen their resolve for the long season ahead. Let's make sure we get ourselves put together. Let's get our tails on the way, guys. This is the first rung on the ladder, and there's a bunch more in front of us. League rules stipulate one day off a week. For players and coaches, it's a welcome break. What a morning. I'll work out here and see if I can get some fish right off of this weed line here. Now, I tell you, there's only one thing I'd rather be doing than fishing right now. It's a beautiful morning as it is, and that's a little football. Back again, seemed like yesterday. Seemed like all you and I do is coach football, man. But since I need a day off and my players need a day off also, <laughs> it's still a great day to spend the morning. Hey, where you going? Me and my brother Greg, we'd fish for, for sunfish and crappie and rock bass. And the older guys were using fancy lures, fishing for bass, and, 
And uh, and then my dad, he'd be fishing for catfish and bass also. So we'd, <laughs> it'd always be like a little family outing. <laughs> when, you, when you've got uh, seven people in the family, when I was growing up, we used to say, what are you fishing for? And we'd say, we're fishing for food. I think, Brian, based on the personnel, they're going to try to just come out and sting you early. If we went on Sunday, then Monday morning, I normally get out in the lake for about an hour. Uh, it's, it, because it's so convenient, I can do it easily. I normally have a radio show. I do that at 7.30, and then I'll jump out here and fish to probably about 8.30, 9 o'clock. Now, if we lose, I don't get to fish Monday or Friday. Well, i tell you what. Trying to lose the job, I guess, huh? I think it kind of goes part of my mood if we don't win also, so. <laughs> get out of here! Hey, get out! Get out! Oh, get get out! Get out of here! I hope to get a lot of fishing in this year. <laughs> come on, Jake. Come on, Jake. Come on, Jake. Come on, relax and catch it. Let's go. Play ball. What we say as coaches to the players is we need to get away from you guys a little bit. You got to tell Jake to relax. You can't come out here drop land. Come on, man. Come on, man. And you need to get away from us a little bit. They don't realize how many balls out there to be had. That's right. Maybe if not totally in mind, at least in uh, presence. And that's why a good day off is always useful. For the giants of the gridiron, road trips are a way of life. Uh, the way this thing works on a plane when we take these longer trips is uh, we always have a first class section where the um, the old veterans sit, and uh, the way you get to sit up here in these larger first-class seats, it would depend on the, your years of service in the National Football League. So as you can see up here, you've got some of the old-timers, Marcus Allen, Joe Montana, all the guys who have been in this league probably somewhere in the vicinity of seven, eight, nine, or more years. We go through cases and cases of Arizona iced tea. That's the favorite drink of the Chiefs. <laughs> and Joe Montana likes um, Dr. Pepper. Biggest concern is that... Uh, Make sure everybody makes the plane. <laughs> That's really not a big concern. We always everybody make it, but it's always some people that push it to the end. Actually getting to the plane seems to be the hard part. But once there, players are pampered and treated first class. On the way home, we're back. after our win, we'll be having filet mignon and oh. parmesan lemon chicken breast. Can't be it. Sounds Typical good. meal to have on the way home with a big win. That's, yep, that's true. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome aboard America with Airlines Flight 3512 with service to Seattle. Welcome aboard to our Kansas City Chiefs. We wish you the best of luck against the Seahawks tomorrow. See you on the road on the way home. Make sure y'all let all the people out there know that the rookies always have to buy food for the bitch. <laughs> No complaints. <laughs> oh yeah, the Kit Kat. You gotta save these Kit Kats. Marcus Allen likes them. Marcus Allen, Joe Montana. And take care of our boys. Rules and regulations for road trips vary from team to team. On their trip to Seattle, the Kansas City Chiefs are laid back and loose. The captain has turned on the fastened seatbelt sign. Please return to your seats. They have no dress code. And their demeanor differs from the New Orleans Saints, who require coat and tie for their trip to L.A. Once the teams land, they are bused to their hotel, where they gather to go over game plans. The Chiefs at 7-4 and four are a game out of first place. A loss against Seattle, a divisional opponent, would virtually eliminate any hope of an AFC West title. The Saints at 4-7 and seven are tied with the Rams for third in the NFC West. They need a win to remain in contention for a wildcard playoff spot. Very good, quick and soft football. All right. hey, Meetings bro. are followed by a meal. You know where Malcolm's from? Uh, you don't know. He's from, um, uh, hey, oh, yeah, right, <laughs> Then, it's early to bed and early to rise for an early departure the next morning. The teams arrive at the stadium long before the fans. The score from the Saints' last game in L.A. greets them at Anaheim Stadium. Okay. 
Pre-game is an opportunity to rest and relax. I got to play against you today. <laughs> <laughs> Any interceptions you want to throw would be greatly appreciated, and you don't throw too many, so. Yeah, I got my share of them uh, coming, man. I'd appreciate you dropping them. I know, man. I tell you what, man. It said the game is 90% mental, and on any given Sunday, any team can win. What a player does physically depends upon his mental preparation, and each player gets ready in his own way. playing pool, he had a lucky strike cigarette stuck in his nose <laughs> and a glass of whiskey. He played pool one-handed, smoked that cigarette the whole without touching it. Did it through his nose and jumped off the bridge at age 70 for his 70th birthday into, from the bridge into the river. Saint Center, Jeff Ulenhake will wear a wireless microphone for NFL Films. Football is first and foremost a game. Practice is the hard part. The games are supposed to be fun. Hey, Yuli, maybe one of these girls will date you. <laughs> Did you get that, guys? <laughs> Yo, let's go, baby. What would you say about that NFL film? <laughs> Who do you think has better cheerleaders, the Rams or the Raiders? Raiders, I'd say. By far. You use the word isthmus in a sentence. <laughs> this must be Christmas. It's us. It's good enough. It's for us. By us. One play at a time. Let's get it. Play ball. Montana, three wide receiver offense. Back to throw Montana on a deep drop. Throws a crossing around on the middle. Lake Dodson's got it to 45 with Seattle. It's Joe Montana now over 40,000 yards in his career. The fifth quarterback in the history of the National Football League to top 40,000 yards in passing. Montana with 40,013 yards. And a standing ovation. This is a wobbly effort off the side of his foot. Hits at the 15, rolls inside the 5. The Rams trying to cover it. It looks like they have inside the 1. 99 and a half yards. Go, go, get it, go! Second and a long nine as Everett rolls go. to his right in the end zone, still rolling right, dumps it off downfield. The catch Big is catch. made. That's a catch, hell yeah! Still Rocco! Bingo! Play action. Everett with the ball on his hip. That's what he's going to do. Downfield and the catch is made. Yes! Second and ten from the 26-yard line. Backs in an eye. The tailback Bates will get it behind the block of Neal. He's inside the 20. He's to the 10. One impressive drive right there. So I could have off-angled it easily. We should have done it. And then, uh, well, we went 99 and a half yards for a touchdown, so what the hell. 6 nothing, Kansas City. Nine minutes left to go, third quarter. Montana back to throw. Here comes the rush. Joe Montana's coming out of the game. Three-step drop, can't find anybody to his left, scrambles with the football to his right, will run it, being chased and dragged down, short of the 15-yard line by Robert Young, our defensive end, and Everett looks to be hurt on the far sideline. During the last defensive possession, they worked on his left ankle. They took off the shoe, they retaped the ankle, and he was very ginger. He just took himself out of the game, so you know there's something wrong if Montana's taking himself out of the game. Bono in a quarterback. Come on, Bo! Oh, go, go! Now Bono. Long count after the draw play. Back to throw. Throws near sideline. Pass caught by Dawson. He's hit the ball. Loses at the 35-yard line. Picked up by the Seahawks at the 25. At the 20. Out of bounds at the 15. They're going to run it. And Seattle has the football. Tootin calls 
the sides. High snap. Casey pulls it down. The kick is up, and the kick is good, and Seattle's got the lead. Seattle leads Kansas City 10-9 on a 32-yard field goal. The word on Jim Everett is that he has a sprained left foot. Jim Everett checks back in for Wade Wilson. Back to throw Everett with time. Throwing deep. Left sideline. Wide open. Haynes. It's a touchdown. That's a hell of a win now. And I know I say that whenever we win, but I guarantee you that was a hell of a win to come out here and beat these guys. All right? Ooh. Now, I'll tell you what set the tone. That 99-plus drive, that first drive. <laughs> I want to say thanks, you guys. And I want you to know, at 11 o'clock tomorrow, Manos on me. Is that a reward or a punishment? Is that a reward? Hey, the big high-priced quarterbacks I know buy watches and stuff like that. After a loss, the flight home is used for reflection, preparation, and meditation. After a win, the flight home is for celebration. <laughs> Jane Brown, baby, you can say Jane Brown. Hey, Jane that, that, that's just a bunch of players hating me. They're a player hating me. Jane, 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 please. You gonna run this next week, though? When we go to Atlanta and play Atlanta? With Taylor Hines, Ray, I'm coming now. <laughs> Winning is exaltation. Losing can stretch minutes into hours make days feel like months, and cause nights to go on forever. Football is a team sport, and not just on the field itself. It takes an incredible amount of teamwork to prepare for a game. A lifetime of pass rushing can't get past the pain I'll get to the quarterback before ya I hear you Take a step and I crush him back and I Most of you have been here before, but you know the yellow dotted line on the field, nobody goes beyond that unless it's an NFL official. The news media will be good, you know, to work with you. Nobody, if anybody gets on the field, they will go to jail. That's me right there. Oh, Lord. That's me right there. Me. I'll take a brunette, too, now. Don't get me wrong. Bro, get that, get it on. Come on. Oh man, I can't even put my arms down. Excuse me, I even lost weight. I even lost weight this time. If anything happens, go to the coach. Let the players go. Let the cheerleaders go. You go protect that coach on either side. Knock around a little bit. Huh? I'll get some up to the day now. Get a good, get a lot in that first quarter. Oh, I am. I'm gonna get there. You go. I'm gonna catch all the ones with those kids. And get funky with it. There will be no holding today. Because if a ball is either thrown or kicked into the stands, uh, an usher or one of you guys will go to the fan, take the ball, and explain that we're doing that for the protection of the fan. Got the biggest head in town. Big head. <laughs> yeah, Joey. I, I'm, I'm talking on the uh, the headset. Well, well, Charlie Weiss can hear it too. Unless I push up, you can't hear me now. Yeah, you sound real loud and clear. 87 slant left. Okay, look for Brisby. And just remember, keep it moving, keep it moving, keep it moving today, right? We're gonna cheer them on to the Superdome. <laughs> Let's just get to the passer, baby. Let's get to the passer. I'll meet all y'all at the quarterback. That's all. 
Have a good time. Ready? You know, the big thing to date now, everybody here that's got a uniform on is going to hit the field. Now you got to do what you can do out there. Play like you're capable of playing. You got 60 minutes to step up individually and collectively and make a statement about the Kansas City Chiefs. This football team is coming into our place. They're standing in our way. And I'm going to tell you something. We'll take anything special from everybody in here. It's 45 guys going out there, playing for 60 minutes, and playing the way we know how to play. With emotion, with a passion, and relentless for 60 minutes. If this son of a doesn't light your fireman, the pilot lights out. Now let's get our ass going and get after them physically. Let's go. Hey, hey, hey. The walk from the locker room is the last private moment. Once players hit the field, events viewed by only a select few will now be seen by millions. You know the scariest thing about playing football in this kind of weather? You might want to play for the rest of your life. It's lovely out here today. You'd rather be at the beach, kicking back, checking out the waves. Spotting out babes. They won the ugly uniform contest though, I tell you that. You look good, you feel good. That look good. My nose clean. You feel good, you play good. I'm young, I'm pretty, and can't possibly be beat. You play good, then you know what happened like that. You know you got your earring in? Yeah, that's all right. Get out of here, boys. This is work time. I know you hate my guts. I don't care. Punch me down. We all human out here. We trying to do the same thing. Let's play a game and get it, get it, do our job. Give your glory and just help him to have a great game. Just just send you to me my prayer. I mean, Amen. One more kiss. Give me a fact. One more smoothie now. Okay. Rick! 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 have to create to the beat you guys. It's, it's a war, man. It's a war. This week, don't think so much. Just go out and do the job. Put the out. dagger in the heart. Put the dagger in the heart. We're in the arena. We're the only thing that matters. Us. Do the good job on the coverage. Then we play the big defense. All we got to do now, man, is just go out there and knock the hell out of it. Okay? Get tough. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Now, Rose, oh, it no. is tip and oh, for a touchdown. What a catch by Chris Carter. Slant caught, touchdown Raiders. Caught on a diving fingertip reception in the back of the end zone. Did he come up with it? Yes. yes. Touchdown. Five back, five back. It is Mark Ingram on the catch again. Oh my, what a play. Down the middle and it is deflected in front. On a deflection of Fred Warner. That's an all-world Hall of Fame catch. Back to throw. Look at throws in the end zone. Up in the air. Tip. Caught. Touchdown. Oh, what a catch. A juggling catch on the right sideline. Touchdown, Chicago. And a sensational catch by Chris Gendy. That may be the best catch I have ever seen. That is an incredible catch. That's why you make what you make, and I make what 
I think. Nice hey, job. Home run. Nice job. That's why you're going to the Hall of Fame, kid. That was a miraculous play. What are you trying to say about that look, bro? Yeah. What are you, what are you trying to say? What's the, what's the, what's the non-verbal language? It's the only place where grown men can act like kids. It's out here on this green stuff. And not get in trouble when we get laughed at. It's fun, isn't it? Here's the snap to Conway. They're going for the fake. Conway is rolling to the right side. He's looking to pass. What? Cuts it down. He's hit. Gets away from one man. Throws it down. Field now. And it is caught on a tip by Jennings. He's in for the touchdown. No! 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 We had two receivers. One at 15 yards and one at about eight yards. He just got the living knocked out of him. We need another receiver, John. John, we need another receiver. No, you're wrong. Right, right down here, right dead in front of us. He hits the ground for that. Hey, that's a new rule. Come on, you guys are choking out there. Gosh, dang it. Dog on it. Oh, shit. Son of a fuck. Got a young team. Sometimes it's good to keep them veterans, man. Team in Christmas. Holy smokes! I tell you, do you guys look at the same uh, referee tapes that we do? Yes, sir. Barnhart will punt it away, and they're going to take it, throw it incomplete. It hits Lumpkin in the in the head. Well, now what they do there? Now what happened? Oh boy! Oh man! Uh, well, just someone tell me we can't make that block. I won't call the damn play. You know? Just someone tell me. It's only my favorite play. <laughs> Ooh. That is such a bad way to start that game. Now, if we don't have the right kind of guards to run them, let's go and run them. Who, who drew up these plays? What the the office? Ah, get over the there! Block the corner! But, but that ain't my fault, coach. <laughs> now, now that you so rude to interrupt my conversation. This towel is dirty. Don't let no one touch that towel. Time out! Time out, Derek! Time out! Time out! I want to take a time out. Mustard, mustard, Cole Mustard did it in the library with the candlestick. Yes, yeah. I'm aware of that. And you can't control what just took place. We cannot go back in time. You can't twitch your nose and say, okay, it's going back. The one thing we can't control is for the next quarter and a half is dominate their ass. Whatever they give us, we're going to use it to bring out the best in us. We're going to use it to bring out the best that we got to give.
through a hole at the 30, 35, cuts to the left side, 40, he may go all the way! He's going, going, gone! Breaks a tackle, in the clear, 35, 30, they won't catch him! Down to 50, 45, Beggett goes outside of the 40-yard line, still inbound, the whistle, 40! Give the ball, they want to run the left side, cuts back, finds a crease, sights the man at the 25. He's got the first down to the 15, to the 10, to the 5. He scores! Hand off Smith coming right, a massive hole to the 5. Oh, oh he's got three. Oh, it's down Emmett Smith. <laughs> down the eye, Barry. Barry's got room to the outside, stiff arms to the 15, to the 10. Jukbo to the 5. Barry's nice. Touchdown, Lions. Barry. Third round, Glade Handle, half there. Touchdown. Turn the give to Bam up over the top. We've got that Steeler touchdown. Brent Jones, he should get there, dive. He tumbles into the end zone. Allen, diving into the end zone, gets the touchdown for the Vikings. Touchdown with a swan dive into the end zone. <laughs> Cuts inside, bubbles the football through the end zone, falls out of it in the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Makes a tackle and goes in for a touchdown. What a tremendous athletic play that time. Man, oh man, oh man. He dives. Not over yet. Now they're my. Stay tuned. No matter how bad they want to count us out, baby, we always come back. Again and again and again. We like Jason, man. Still at pump and shut here now. There you go. 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 football and you see him do the amazing thing run after run sometimes you just gotta look to the heavens and say wow what an incredible run by the best back in the national football back pedaling goes george and he throws intercepted in the inbound Dion down the right side yes he's to the 50 high steps to the 50 to beat the last tackler by Dion. Oh my goodness. What a play. Hollywood stripped. No kidding. It ain't over, gentlemen. With 32, 31, 30 seconds to go. I believe Marino is saying I'm going to spike it. Marino takes the snap from center. He's looking. He throws. All right. Touchdown, Dolphins. Mark Gagrup. Caught it in the corner of the end zone in front of Eric Glenn. His fourth touchdown catch of the game. That was oh. Jets off guard on that play. Come on now. Go, let's go. 13 seconds left in the game. Montana takes the snap. Back to throw. Looking right. Firing a pass set. A leaping grab. Willie Davis. Touchdown, Kansas City. Willie Davis made the catch. Curled inside the right pylon. Number one. Right, let's go. Favre goes straight back in the pocket. Favre looking. Now Favre running to the right. Favre is on the run. Favre is down the sidelines. Favre. Touchdown. He died.
black and white, baby. Color, take the color, right there. I just want to say it feels real good to win all the thing like that. That was as gussy a win as I've ever seen. Enjoy yourself, you be Only babies get what they want all the time. Men gotta do it the hard way. And we got nothing but men in this room. There's something special about this group of guys. We're in the playoffs. I don't know where we fit in that thing. But we're in the friggin' dance again. <laughs> and we've been there before. But the big thing is we're going to enjoy this win, the division champs and, and uh, the playoffs next. This is really what it's all about because our number one objective back in July was to win the central championship. We were able to do that. So we got that one goal down. The second goal was to advance to the playoffs. Great job, fantastic. You rose to the occasion. God bless. I tell you what, I don't know what to say. I'm just so damn happy. Fake Montana wants to throw, has time, throws late. Derek Walker's got it the back of the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas City. Chiefs are blitzing, here they come. Marino throwing the fade to Fryer. He's got it. Touchdown. Barry is no good on grass. He's no good on stall. I figure he'll be minus 20 by the end of the day. I love football. I hate the game. Back to throw. Moon steps and throws the right side. Got it. He makes So back in the pocket, throws, ball is tipped, ball is intercepted by Turner. Eric Turner comes up big again. He's to the 40, and he's down to the 35. Michael Stewart trying to tear that ball out of there. The Dolphins say, hey, he's got it! All right, Miami! The party has started. We love you, too. Good luck. Get the hell. Go all the way. Takes the snap. He throws. Complete touchdown, Dolphins. Keith Jackson. Marino is sizzling. Yeah. And he cover up. He can't he cannot cover up. Young carries it in himself. He dives into the end zone. After he saw nobody open, he then slams the ball down. Go to ball against the rip button every time. He cannot cover. Deep ball to the middle. Here's Harper at the 45. He caught it. Left to the 40 of the Packers. He broke the way. to the fullback end. That's John L. He's got first down to mark. 20, 15, 10. There goes John L. Williams breaking out of the pile and going for the Steelers touchdown. First in goal, San Diego. They go from the eight-yard line. Stan Humphreys will turn. Play action right off of Blitz. Throws. Caught. Touchdown, San Diego. This is a 48-yard attempt to win the game. Money in the bank. For the win the game in the for Miami. High snap. It's down. On the way. in Pittsburgh on a rainy Sunday. The Chargers hoping to go where they've never, ever been before the Super Bowl. We are going to win. You know why? Because we're better than them. We are better than them. Guaranteed victory. I guarantee it's going to be a knockout, baby. 
Back to throw again is Aikman. Some pressure. Gets the pass away. Eric Davis picks it off. Touchdown, 49ers! Half time. Sends it down the left side. Ball is caught and knocked down. That could be a fumble. Down here the 30-yard line. Ball is fumbled. I think they've got it again. Now, this is just unbelievable. goes 44 yards and the game might be on yet well what a great throw young goes back to throw steps up goes for the end zone right is out there touchdown 49ers come on man. humphrey's got pounded after he released the ball just pulled that hamstring again Brad I think or he heard something going to yeah. the sideline and he pulled up lame and he's staying down Young thinking of a quarterback sneak again breaks to the outside dives into the goal line touchdown 49ers we won't have to hear any more talk about Steve Young getting to the Super Bowl now he'll have to win one and the season comes down to a final play for Pittsburgh it'll be a fourth down and goal from the three Neil O'Donnell on a fourth down play to save the season to throw fire Where 28 teams began in the heat of summer camp, the Chargers and 49ers finish in the glitter of the Super Bowl. Two blocks on three! One, two, hurry! Taylor out to the left side, and Ricky Waters to the right, and a play fake. Young goes the play fake, wraps back the throw, deep middle, water the play, over the shoulder, catch, bounces away, bounces away again, oh, what a bonanza, a spectacular touchdown catch by Ricky Waters, and play like you're on ice, second day, when you get the shot, you gotta make the hit, you got to wrap up, huh? great back drop, quick pass, left flat, Ricky Waters makes the catch, he's in, touchdown 49ers, shut him down again, one more time, The throw is young. Throws it across the middle. Catch by right. Beat the defender on the play. Touchdown 49ers. What a movie made up. And you got to decide what you want to live with for a whole year. And right now, you got a long year based on the way we're playing. Steve Young and the 49ers redefine perfection and rewrite the record book. It is the culmination of another NFL season filled with heartbreaks and heroes. A triumphant ending to the season you never saw. Every guy here made a commitment. You know you did. There were times when it was dark. It was really dark. We turned back into each other's face and committed to each other. You knew we had to do it this way. It's the greatest feeling in the world. Is it not? 39 days! Hey, I share this with every one of you guys. Everyone in this room made a commitment. And we're there. And no one can ever, ever take it away from us. Ever!
Wow, wow, wow. We got the game ball here.